What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, the best place to learn how to get visible using social media and get paid using business strategy. Now in today's video, I wanna talk about Instagram Reels. Specifically, how can you get more views and potentially get your Instagram Reels to go viral? The reason why I wanna talk about this is because in this video right here, I mentioned how I've been experimenting with Instagram Reels and how this feature specifically really revived my account in terms of getting more reach and over time, I've had a few Instagram Reels take off substantially on the platform. And so, as a result of that, I've really taken notes on what are the main things that really help an Instagram Reels to go viral or get more views. And so, if you're interested in learning all of that, then keep watching. Now, the first tip that I have for you is a foundational tip, and that is leaning into TikTok. Now, you don't have to create content on TikTok specifically, but I strongly believe that it is very beneficial and advantageous to your overall Instagram Reels content plan if you do have a TikTok account. Because as of right now, TikTok is still the leader in short form video content. And so many of the sounds, dances, trends, concepts do stem from this platform. And so by being a part of TikTok and really accessing the content there, it will give you a competitive edge on Instagram Reels. Now, speaking of trends, the next tip that I have for you in order for your videos to have a better chance of going viral is to take advantage of trending sounds and effects. While you can see what is trending on the Instagram Reels Explore page on its own, what will actually get you ahead is actually looking at what's trending on TikTok. Because what I found is that TikTok is usually two weeks ahead for the trends. And by the time something becomes trending on Instagram Reels, it's kind of like old news on TikTok. And so if you're only posting content for Instagram Reels, that is exactly why having a TikTok account and accessing content there can really give you that competitive edge. And so the next question that you might have is, okay, Vanessa, well, how do I actually actually know whether or not a sound or an effect is trending. So there are two ways that my social media manager and I identify which sounds are trending on TikTok. The first one is actually looking at the sound itself and noticing how many videos are being posted under that sound. What we found is that the sweet spot is anywhere between 20,000 videos and less than 100,000 videos. This range is usually when a sound or an effect is truly taking off, especially when it's closer to the 20,000 range. That's when something is really at the beginning stages of trending versus is when something is more on the tail end of 100,000, that's when the trend is pretty much mainstream at that point. Now, if you're someone who's like, hold up, Vanessa, I can't even access that page or I don't know how to, then what you can do is you can go into your TikTok for you page. If there is a piece of audio that you really like, then you click on the audio itself. It's gonna direct you to that page to see how many videos are also using that sound. So you can gauge whether or not it's about to trend, if it's already mainstream, or if it's not popular at all. You can also save it to your favorites for later, or you can use the sound right away. Now, if you're someone who would rather source content from Instagram Reels directly, you basically do the same thing. You go into your IG Reels, click on the audio that you're interested in, and it's gonna direct you to the same page or a very similar looking page. Now, here's my disclaimer though, is my recommendation to find sounds that have at least 20,000 to 100,000 videos to show that it's an up and coming trend only applies to TikTok. These numbers do not apply to Instagram Reels itself. And the reason why is because on TikTok, they're a lot better at actually sourcing the original sound and everyone using that same exact audio clip. Whereas on Instagram, because a lot of things are repurposed from TikTok, the information is kind of scattered everywhere. And so the numbers are never really accurate. Now, at the same time, like I mentioned before, most things on Instagram are already very popular because it's sourced from TikTok. And that is exactly why in this video, I'm encouraging you guys to use TikTok, especially if you wanna be ahead of the trends and what's typically popular for short form video content by using TikTok. Now, the second easier way to identify whether or not something is trending, and this can also apply to TikTok and the Instagram Reels Explore page, is within a 30 minute time frame, if you're just browsing on that Explore page or your For You page, and you're noticing a sound popping up more than three times within that 30 minute range, that is a pretty good indication that that is also something that is currently about to trend or is already trending. Now here's one thing that you should definitely keep in mind because I know many of us are probably stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, here's another thing that I need to be on top of, another trend that I gotta follow and all of that. Just remember that trending sounds and trending effects are more important on TikTok than it is on Instagram Reels for the reason that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. At this moment in time, Instagram is still a little bit slower when it comes to 
finding trends and adapting to trends. So when something is already super trendy on TikTok, usually about two weeks later, it then becomes popular on Instagram. And so I wouldn't stress too, too much, especially if you are only focusing on an Instagram real strategy. But what I'm sharing with you is really going to give you a leg up if you want to be on top of it. In addition to all of this, if you're someone that cannot be bothered to fish through the trends, don't worry, I got you. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram because my social media manager is on top of it. She's always on TikTok looking for the trendiest sounds. And so most of the time, all of the TikToks or all the Instagram reels that we post usually are with a trending sound. So all you have to do is go through my Instagram reels, click on the audio, and then create your own Instagram reels using that audio. Now about 50 to 60% of the work is already done for you. Now moving on to the third tip that I have for you, and that is keeping your Instagram reels short. 15 seconds is the sweet spot. And for a number of reasons, number one, you want people to be able to finish watching your IG reel. That's how the Instagram algorithm prioritize what they push. So if they see an Instagram reels is actually being watched from the beginning to the end, then they're more likely to push that Instagram reels out on the algorithm. And so when you keep your Instagram reel shorter, there's going to be an increased likelihood that people are actually going to finish watching that whole 15 second clip. Not only this on Instagram, Instagram reels right now, when you post it to your feed, it only previews about 15 seconds of the video. And so if you have something that's over 15 seconds, half of your video will get cut out. And that again is going to hurt your chances of someone watching the entire thing. Finally, the last reason why you'd want to keep your Instagram reel shorter rather than longer is because the shorter the video is, the more likelihood someone's going to watch that video multiple times. And so that's another thing that the Instagram algorithm prioritizes are reels that are being watched multiple times by the same people. Now moving on to the next tip that I have for you that will increase your chances of Instagram favoring your Instagram reels and therefore pushing it out into the algorithm. And that is making sure your upload is higher quality. And if you're repurposing from TikTok, that you definitely remove the TikTok watermark. Now you might be wondering to yourself, Vanessa, how do you know this? Isn't this just a myth? Well, the reason why I know Instagram deprioritizes videos that are lower quality and also have the watermark is because over on their creators account, which is an Instagram verified account, they actually set it. And so with that being said, let me show you a few ways to keep your Instagram reels high quality and also ways to remove the watermark. Now, in order to keep things high quality, I've experimented with a few things. The first one is making sure that you modify your settings. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to your Instagram account, go to settings, then go to account, click on data usage, and then make sure you enable high quality uploading. Another thing that I'd like to mention is when you're doing your settings, you'll also want to turn off use less cellular data. One thing that was really interesting is my social media manager actually had this setting on for the entire time. And we kept wondering why every time she uploaded my Instagram reels, the quality was always significantly worse than what I saw on my phone. And so you definitely want to make sure that this is turned off if you want to preserve the quality of your videos. Now on top of adjusting your settings within Instagram, the next thing that you're going to want to check is your internet speed, especially if you're noticing that your Instagram reels quality is really crappy because what people don't realize is that Instagram will always prioritize making sure that the content gets out fast. And so if it's noticing that your interconnection is bad, what it'll do is it will reduce the quality of your video so that it can upload your video even faster. And so that is one thing you definitely want to check. Now, aside from checking your internet connection, the next thing that you want to do to preserve the quality of your videos is making sure you're reducing the amount of times that you're downloading something and re-uploading something. So a good example is if you are someone who is repurposing content that you're creating on TikTok onto Instagram reels, a huge no, no is downloading the video from TikTok, re-uploading the video to a watermark remover app, such as SnapTik.app, downloading it again, and then re-uploading it to Instagram. That is a lot of times that you are processing that video. And what happens is every time you download, re-upload, download, and re-upload, especially in different platforms, it's actually going to reduce the quality of your video. And therefore the final result is not going to be crystal clear. That's why what I like to do is I like to make sure that I use TikTok. 
I edit my video and I film my video on TikTok directly all in one place. Then afterwards, once I'm happy with it, what I'll do is I'll screen record the video on my iPhone. And from there, I will then crop the video, make sure it looks good and make sure it's optimized for Instagram. And then I'll upload this video directly to Instagram. By doing this, it has preserved the quality by a lot versus doing the first option that I shared. Now, of course, by screen recording, it is still going to reduce the quality of that video, but I can almost guarantee that it will be much better than downloading and re-uploading every single time. Now, obviously, to preserve the best possible quality, it's best to film, edit, and do everything natively on the Instagram platform. But if you are someone like me who wants to repurpose content and maximize reach on both TikTok and Instagram, as well as capitalize on the trends within TikTok, then this is definitely the way that I recommend to do it and how I do it myself. Now, moving on to the fifth tip that I have for you when it comes to giving your videos an algorithm boost, and that is making sure you're always including call to action for people to either like or comment on your video. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because that is how the Instagram algorithm works. And again, they mentioned this themselves on their creator's account when they walked us through what exactly they prioritize for Instagram Reels. They specifically mentioned that they will push more videos that have more engagement of people liking that piece of content or commenting on it. And so you definitely wanna make sure you do not neglect the call to actions even for Instagram Reels. Now moving on to the sixth tip that I have for you, and that is making sure that even if your Instagram Reels does not perform the way that you want to within the first 48 hours, you still do not delete the content. You leave it alone. And the reason why I'm saying this is because many of you do not realize that Instagram Reels has a much longer shelf life than any other content piece for Instagram, such as your carousel posts or your IGTVs or your regular feed posts. Because a rookie mistake that I see a lot of people do is that they get discouraged when they see their video not taking off within the first 48 or 72 hours like their normal posts do, and they end up self-sabotaging by deleting the piece of content. When in reality, Instagram Reels actually hangs on the algorithm a lot longer. And so what you're gonna notice is even a week after you've posted that piece of content, it may take off. And this has happened to me for many of my videos. When I first posted the video, it didn't get that much traction, but then a week later, all of a sudden, and I was getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views. And so that's why I'm always really glad that I did not delete any of my lower performing videos because eventually they did take off. So patience is key here. Now, the next tip that I have for you is to make sure that despite all the things that I'm sharing with you, that you still create content that caters to your niche and to your audience. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you apply all the tips that you've learned so far in this video. If you're just copying whatever is trending or having good video quality or doing all these things, but the content itself doesn't resonate with your core followers, then that's just gonna really reduce the chances of that video taking off in general because it's not getting the initial traction that you would like on your content. To put things into context, here's an example of a TikTok that I took inspiration from. And as you can see, the angle is really around losing weight and the failures of that and whatever else. Now, obviously, even though this particular content piece did really well on TikTok, I know for a fact that if I replicated this to a T on my account, it definitely would not take off and it would not work. Simply because my audience isn't really interested in that kind of stuff. I know that the primary audience for me is entrepreneurs, content creators, coaches, marketers, social media enthusiasts. And so it just simply would not work. And so what I did was I took the sound, I took the effect, but I asked myself how I can modify it to my niche. And what ended up happening is I created this content piece where I talk about, you know, the failures of taking a break from social media and then, you know, flopping and all that. And this video ended up going viral because my audience initially really resonated with it and it got the traction that it needed to take off eventually to a wider pool of people on Instagram. And so that's why you have to make sure that even if you do all the tips that I've mentioned today, that at the heart of it, you still make sure that whatever you're doing, even if you're taking trends, that you're applying it to your specific audience and niche. Now at this point of the video, I would love to know, did you learn anything that you didn't know before comment below and let me know. Or alternatively, if you're someone who's like, oh, I knew all of this already. There are so many other tips that she did not mention. Make sure you comment below and share it so that other people can benefit from the value as well. 
Not only this, in this video, I did mention a few mistakes that are preventing your videos from taking off and going viral or getting more views from the Instagram algorithm. That's why I want you to hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'm going to expand more on that. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the top rookie mistakes that many people make that actually prevent their Instagram reels from truly taking off. And so hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when that video drops. Not only this, if you want to dive deeper into Instagram and you want to build a solid foundation for your Instagram account, then make sure you click the link that's in my description box or in my comment section below. I have a free guide here that has pages on pages on pages of tips, whether it's Instagram reels, Instagram stories, IG bio, hashtags, and so much more. So make sure you click the link in my description box or in my comment section below to get this guide for free. As always, I post a lot of content on social media, entrepreneurship, marketing, coaching, and so much more. So make sure while you wait for next week's video, you check out these two videos that I have right here as well. I promise it will not disappoint. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.